Um, so we'll explain the tillering when we get to that stage. And then we've got horn knocks to go on the end. So before the day is out, it's got to be tillered and the horn knocks glued on because we're then going to leave it overnight for the glue to go so, hard. Yeah, raining and, towards. and then tomorrow morning um, we'll continue the tillering uh, and then sand the bow down, finish shaping the knocks if we need to, um, put a handle on the bow, uh, and then after lunch, if all is well, we'll do some shooting in the garden, get you shooting. That's dry the glue the And what are the woods? We've got bamboo on the back, and that's the back of the bow. So that, that will be the, the outside curve of the bow. So that will pull on the outside curve. In a bow from Natural U, which that is a sort of medieval style of bow, um, you've got the sapwood, yeah. and that's good at resisting tension, and that's just under the bark of the, of the tree. So the pale coloured sapwood, very, you know, there's a distinct line between the yeah. two. Yeah. That's good at resisting tension. The belly, this darker colour, is very good at resisting compression. Yeah. Um, this, because this is a wood called lemon wood. It's, it's like a box, a species of box wood, really. But you need something on the back to resist the tension forces, to stretch. And we were using hickory, uh, but the quality of hickory has dropped so much over the years that you have bits of grain coming up and it just, it just didn't last. So people are now using bamboo on the back. And then they say this wood is a wood called lemon wood, which is tried and tested material for a long, a long time. It's a South American uh, wood. Oh. Okay, we've got a, a scraper each. Yeah. Uh, the bamboo has got a skin on it. Yeah. Um, okay. Which we need to scrape the back of it and go around the edges in case there's any tool marks. Okay. So That's we're removing... The string made of Dacron, it's got 14 strands in it and each strand has got a 50 pound breaking strain. So the whole string has got a 700 pound breaking strain, which is far more than the weight of your bow, but you've got to allow a factor of safety because when you let go of the string, there's a hell of a thump. So it's strong enough to withstand that. So not one end, there isn't a knot the other end so that we can, this would fit almost any bow right. and you can adjust the length okay. of it more easily. So um, certainly in the Middle Ages, you'd begin a bowstring and because there's no loop the other end, you can put that wherever you want to fit the length of your bow. You're not given a string with two loops that doesn't, that's too Probably short for your bow. Yeah. So that's not what you want. So form a loop and then bring the string back through the loop. So you're forming a little bit of a slip knot. So that will slide through and then turn it back through about another three, four times perhaps. And then that forms that sort of slip knot then. So when that's on the bow, that pulls and it tightens. It didn't look too bad, but it looked as if that section was stiff. Okay. So we get the rasp and just take a little bit off. We won't take too much, because no, if you take too much, you, you then find yeah. you've got to take some off that end, you keep going and going, yeah. and you end up with a, a nice bow that's about five pound draw weight but <laughs> perfectly tillered which isn't any good to yeah. anyone so we've got to compromise okay um, but we take a little bit off there very very gently and a, perhaps a bit each side of the handle where it's slightly stiff and then we come back put it up again see if it's any, any better well,
that would be okay. Is that all right? That, yeah. Do we there, do you think? Or um, more you can get the fart and just gently take, it's a bit ridgy there. Just this is a bit. You, um, you, use that one, you've got most of the arrow going off. Is any, any sort of cuts in the bamboo, though it's not too critical near the end, but you don't want anything in it really. Yeah. And lay that on, and that'll be the top there where your pencil mark is. Lay that on, wrap it round, holding it on with your finger, so it just overlaps. Then I normally get a bit more glue and put it in there, so right. the two pieces then glue together. And then, obviously not holding it there because it would get covered with glue, um, but just hold it down, and then gently turn it, just overlapping slightly, so we don't get a big gap of wood yep. between mm -hmm. it, and just go all the way round. and the front end is, is aiming it lower. That's better. Yeah, that's what the different group in there, isn't it? Yeah. So as it goes as it as it yeah you put best to fold your sleeve down and put the brace on. Keep your left elbow turned up out of the way. Same hole. Mm. <laughs> so if you can get them closer together than that, <laughs> trick shooting. Uh, 